Hello and welcome to another food review. This is President's Choice Canadian Pizza. Never had President's Choice Pizza before in my life, I'm pretty sure. This is the box. That's what it looks like. The calories is 320 calories for one sixth of the pizza. So in total, it's 1920 calories. For 870 milligrams per one six pizza. That's a lot of sodium. It says to cook it 400 for 25 to 27 minutes. And let me see here. Place there directly on bottom of oven rack and bake for doo -doo -doo until cheese is melted. Okay, so it doesn't recommend to put it on a cookie sheet. Sometimes these pizzas do require a cookie sheet. Came on this thing here pizza and then you know take the plastic off I put it in the um, what the fuck are they called mini ovens you know regular oven with a stove on top and there's like those tinier smaller ovens toaster oven so I put it in that but because it's small enough to fit in the toaster oven at least the toaster oven size and I have just like bigger ones smaller ones blah 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 anyways this is the first time ever because I put it in the rack Always in the past when I cook pizzas, maybe a little bit hangs off of the rack, but it stays. It doesn't droop down. But if this President's Choice pizza, the edges on it, like what was on the rack stayed on the rack, but any edge, any pizza over the edge would fall off to the side. So the front had a little bit souping down, and the side of it had look, kind of fell down a bit and got cooked that way. So it would explain why I could kind of smell a burning smell. But overall, there it is. Back side's crispy, front side's like later pale looking. I'm gonna add tomato and lettuce with this after a few pieces just because. If I had sour cream, I would sour cream too as well. I like um, taco pizza, but blah, blah, blah. The, so this is kind of all fucked up. Uh, the back side is more crispy, but the bottom side's, because I added an extra more minutes, a few more minutes to it. Even though I could kind of smell a burn smell, because the front was still soft and it was drooping over, so I added a few minutes, so it kind of parts of it are undercooked and overcooked. This is all kind of messy, really. So I don't know how much really, because proper taste test would be like, hey, it's fully cooked and everything else. So because that's undercooked, it's doughy. Let's rip the back. Like, tastes like frozen pizza. I always prefer fresh pizza for frozen, but whatever. Got this at Walmart for... Not Walmart. The Superstore for $3.50, I think. Was it on sale? I don't even remember. I think it was on sale. Um, yeah, I'm going to go here. I guess take a piece of pepperoni. The sauce tasted fine by itself. Mm. Like to taste the pepperoni, a little mushroom. Like to taste the mushroom. This is a little piece of baking. Mm. Tastes like bacon. Not a fan of the square taste. The well, the look. It's a square look bacon. I don't really care for that look, but tastes fine. I like it. I mean, it's frozen pizza. Would I bet three dollars and fifty cents? Yep. The regular price is five dollars. Well, when it comes to frozen pizza, I never buy them at full price. Anyways, I just wait for them to go on sale. Some place always has something on sale. If I really want, I mean, okay, when I've got the money, I buy fresh pizza. I totally skip the frozen pizza. Um, the only exception ever was in the past was those. Dr. Oker's, whatever type of pizza's frozen pizza. I would say that I wouldn't touch the frozen pizza. Unless it was like 50% or even 75% off. Would I, once in a blue moon, do it? But, since I don't really get the money to buy fresh pizza all the time, this and that, buy frozen cheap pizza, sure. And for this, yep, I would buy it again 
Nice $3.50. Thanks for watching.